Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another hair video. We're doing a money piece, tone, and extensions on my client here. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So I'm going to be using Wella Blondor with 20 volume. The reason I'm using 20 volume, many people will say that is not correct, is because I'm just putting it on her regrowth. I'm not putting it on the hair that's already blonde. It's like to land, not raise to your door. So I'm just mixing up enough to do a face framing highlight and I'm of course adding some Olaplex in there for some extra protection and we're good to go. So because I'm just doing a money piece, I'm going to be working off of her part, which just happens to be down the middle. Also, it's a little bit hard to see because I'm literally standing in front of the camera, but I promise it gets better on the other side. So literally I'm taking the smallest sections and I'm doing a diagonal back from her temple to her ear and I'm literally just doing slices. I'm zooming in so you can kind of see it a little bit better. They are such fine sections. You can literally see through them and they're all diagonal backs. This is going to make it so when she pulls her hair back, it's going to be really bright. And also it's not going to be a disconnect from the really blonde money piece that she's going to have at her root. Once I did three foils of slices, I'm going in and I'm actually going to do a weave. And I am a baby lighter, so this is a super, super fine weave. Like I said, there's literally barely any hair in this foil. So now I'm going in with another really fine weave. I'm applying the lightener straight to the root. So now onto the bright money piece. I sectioned out how big she wanted her money piece and I'm gonna go in and slice seriously every single piece of that money piece. Sometimes it's nice to do some weaves as you get closer to the end of the money piece, but she wanted it really, really bold. So I sliced the whole thing. It's kind of hard to see, but like I said, you'll be able to see it better on the other side. I'm literally just going through tiny, tiny, fine slices. The thinner your slices are, the closer you'll be able to get to the root. And with a money piece, you'll want to get as close to the root as possible because we're not going to be shadow rooting these at all. Okay, so now I am folding those foils back and moving on to the other side. If you look, I think I did eight or nine foils total. So this is a super quick application service. The reason I would do a service like this is because she's already really blonde naturally. She's pretty much a natural level, maybe a seven, probably more like an eight. So this service is great in between full services because she doesn't want to get the full thing done, a full highlight and extension move up every single time. So this is going to make her feel really bright and really blonde. So as you can see, I'm doing my thing. It's way better on this side. The sections are super fine and I'm just touching up the root what needs to be touched up. I am not overlapping the blonde on her ends. So now I am removing her extensions and she only has one row right now just for thickness but for her wedding we will be installing two. So a little tip is to remove the extensions after you put in the color because then your face frame can process and you won't waste any time removing the extensions. So now I am pulling those foils and you can see she lifts to a clean level 10. It does not take much to get her hair to lift, obviously. So look how beautiful that is and look how close to the scalp that is.
So now I'm just giving her a good wash. She likes to have her hair scrubbed while there's no extensions in. So honestly, I wash her hair like three or four times and itch her head a lot because like I said, she does not have the extensions in. So it really feels good. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing here is actually what I call a bleach wash. A bleach wash is a combination of bleach. I usually use 20 or 30 volume developer with some shampoo. I like to use it on my blondes who have really blonde ends. They just need the extra buildup and the extra leftover toner kicked out of their hair. A bleach wash is perfect for that. Next, we are toning and this is where the hair really starts to come to life. As I said, no shadow root today. I used 9V. 10p and 10gi just a tiny tiny bit of 10gi just so her hair does not turn purple from all of the cool tones but she does like to be pretty ashy i let that sit in for a couple of minutes and then i rinsed her out Okay, so she is blow dried and you can already see that bang and money piece. And now I'm sectioning out for her extensions. Like I said, she has one row. I am certified in the habit extension method. And obviously that is illegal to teach, nor is that something I want to teach. So here is a fast paced version of me putting in her hair extensions. This is what it looks like when the track is sewn in and then hair is obviously sewn on top of that. And here is now the hair sewn in and I am curling it. I am using the Bio Ionic one and a quarter inch curling iron. This curling iron is amazing for hair extensions or just long hair in general. I seriously absolutely love it. I got mine at Salon Centric. Now I'm just doing some finishing sprays. And this is the final look for her hair. It is so beautiful and so bright for summer. It is seriously the most perfect in-between hair color service that you could possibly do for your blondes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you can keep up with me on all things hair. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.